In 2006, the arcade fighting game Melty Blood Act Cadenza was added to the roster of Super Battle Opera, the most prestigious arcade fighting game championship in Japan. The format? A 2v2 team tournament. The qualification process, however, was a little unusual, as we're about to see. During the spring and the summer, qualifying tournaments were held in each region of Japan, and each of the winning teams was awarded a red ticket. At the end of the tournament season, a regional tournament was held between all the red ticket holders, with the winner of this tournament claiming a blue ticket. Those blue tickets were special. Their owners were allowed to continue into the final tournament of Super Battle Opera, an event reserved for the best of the best. These harsh conditions fostered fierce competition within the Melty Blood community, a community filled with many strong players who will do anything to get an edge over their opponents. While this environment has led to the development of a lot of new strategies, one player found a technique so powerful that it completely changed the game. This technique has been kept hidden from the world for almost 15 years. Until now. Our story follows two friends from Kyushu, Japan, who formed a team to compete in the Super Battle Opera qualifiers of Melty Blood Act Cadenza. These two friends? Shin, an Akiha player, and Jeffrey Manson, who played Aoko. They knew the path to glory would not be easy. The competition in the Japanese Melty Blood scene was very fierce at that time, and at every big tournament, you would inevitably encounter one of the seven gods of Melty Blood in your path. However, Shin and Jeffrey Manson had a secret weapon, an edge only they knew about. Melty Blood Act Cadenza, MBAC for short, was an extremely fast-paced and brutal fighting game. The character's air dashes were not only used as a means of fast mobility, but also to enforce strong mix-ups. Once you were put in a defensive position, it was very common to be overwhelmed by the many options the opponent had when approaching you from the air. By mixing chains of multiple overhead normals, air dashing, and landing into low normals, which can come at any point, offense in MBAC often snowballed out of control. However, Shin had discovered a technique that directly counters this overwhelming offense. By using a very specific input during the opponent's air dash, it is possible to manipulate your character's collision box in such a way that would put your character behind the opponent. This not only got you out of the corner and into a safe position, but also led to a free combo punish, completely turning the tables on an otherwise near hopeless situation. In MBAC's high level play, this technique was a complete game changer. When Shin shared this technique with Jeffrey Manson, Shin didn't have a name for it. After some consideration, Jeffrey Manson decided to name the technique Stone Hat. Why Stone Hat? Well, whenever Jeffrey Manson and Shin went to a restaurant, Shin was somehow able to completely blend in with the scenery and hide his presence, so much so that the waiters rarely offered him anything, or even counted him as part of a reservation. This strange phenomenon reminded Jeffrey Manson of an episode of the TV series Doraemon, about a magical hat that makes its wearer unnoticeable by other people, like a pebble on the road. Since both Shin and the technique he discovered make other people just pass them by, Stone Hat was the perfect name. While the Stone Hat technique was extremely useful for a smaller character like Akiha, it wasn't as practical to perform with the larger Aoko. Even so, with the Stone Hat technique at their disposal, 
and being the only players who understood this unique quirk of the game engine, the two friends knew they had a much better chance to win, even against the gods of Melty Blood. And then, the tournament season began. Throughout the tournaments, Shin made very effective use of Stone Hat, constantly escaping tough situations. Perhaps due to Akiha's small size, neither rivals nor spectators could understand that this technique was being used right in front of their eyes. Instead, they thought that Shin possessed an amazing ability to recognize when an air dash was performed too high and could be crouched under. In hard-fought battles, Shin and Jeffrey Manson were able to defeat many strong teams who stood in their way. They won a red ticket, and then a blue ticket, and in the final tournament, made it all the way to the semi-finals. They were so close. Their next opponents were Yukinose and SII. While opportunities to use the stone hat technique did not come up in the match, Shin had Yukinose on the ropes. However, at the brink of defeat, Yukinose was able to activate Heat and Heal, and after baiting Shin's shield attempt, he took the round back in a comeback. Sometimes in tournaments, performing a clutch comeback under pressure grants a mental advantage as well, a morale boost that pushes a player to continue winning. This, obviously, can influence the rest of the match, and just like that, Yukinose then proceeded to dominate the third round as well. Now it was all up to Jeffrey Manson. But SII played perfectly, predicting his opponent's every move. Shin and Jeffrey Manson had gotten so far, but their amazing tournament run was over. A year later, the two friends again tried to qualify to SBO 2007, but this time their story took an unexpected turn. After several failed attempts to win a blue ticket, the team concluded that they had plateaued. In order to get a new perspective and form new strategies, they both decided that it would be for the best to split up and compete with different partners. With a new partner and a fresh perspective, Jeffrey Manson performed extremely well throughout the 2007 season. But he had still not managed to win a blue ticket. However, there was one last opportunity. The last chance qualifier at the day of the final tournament. The competition was hard that day, filled with strong players from all over Japan, 
trying their absolute best to qualify. Jeffrey Manson was confident and played well. Just a few more wins left and he'd finally make it into the main event. However, nothing could prepare him for what was about to come. After progressing through the bracket, Jeffrey Manson's next opponent was none other than Shin. Both players were desperate to qualify. It was now or never, and the two friends would not let anyone stand in their way, not even each other. After a fierce battle, Jeffrey Manson was able to defeat Shin and his partner to progress onward. Sadly, this tournament run ended soon after by the legendary Nero player, Lucky Star. It was all over once again. While Shin and Jeffrey Manson shared the stone hat technique to a small, select group of people, the two friends have decided to keep it a secret for all these years. The main reason for this was because the stone hat technique still worked in the newer versions of the game, actress again, and current code. While it can still be powerful in current code, in this version the oppressive offense Melty Blood is known for is less reliant on air dashing. Therefore, stone hat is not as effective as it was back in MBAC. And now with Melty Blood type Lumina coming out soon, they want to reveal the technique to you today. It is done by moving the joystick from down forward to forward while the opponent's character is air dashing forward at point blank. And it really works too. You can open your copy of the game and try it right now. While it's good against specific characters, it can be countered by using cross up air attacks or jumping backwards in order to start your air dash from farther away so that you'll reach the opponent as your attack already comes out rather than before. The story of the stone hat technique is not a unique one. During that hyper-competitive era in Melty Blood's history, players discovered many advanced techniques and strategies. Some of them eventually became widely known years later. But there's also the possibility that some players are going to take their discoveries with them to their graves. With Melty Blood type Lumina on the horizon, an exciting new era is about to begin for the competitive Japanese scene and outside of Japan as well. Watch those tournament matches closely, as you never know when something like the stone hat technique has been used right in front of you. <laughs>